Hello everyone, Watches Review here with a look at the modern Starman from DC Universe Classics Wave 15, aka the Valdus Wave. Probably one of the figures I was most looking forward to in this wave as well, right after the Raven and Martian Manhunter. Now, although this wave didn't really drop in my area, I had been picking up some of it online and stuff, but um, recently it was something of a kick in the teeth to see uh, overstock retailers like TJ Maxx and Marshalls actually having a few figures from it, but not too many. Could have saved myself a little money in Raven's case at least. But yeah, I'm not too familiar with this character, either the original or modern version. This one is, of course, the variant of this sort of boring-looking character design that I can't really get into, whereas this one is considerably more exciting. But yeah, picked him up for 8 bucks. So really lucky to find him. I only really stopped there because I was in a traffic jam. But yeah, um, hold on a second, I'll get this out of box. Starman comes with this pin of the sort of classic version of the character as well as the left leg of Validus. Now, as for the character itself, if you're not familiar with him, hey, join the club. I don't really know much about him either. Now, what I do know, besides the facts that I read off the package, is that this is basically just a normal human. Um, what makes him a superhero is his super technologically advanced staff here, which is later wielded by Star Girl, which gives him the ability to fly and manipulate gravity and all that. Pretty cool. Now from the snippets on the back of the box, he is in fact Ted Knight, the son of the first Starman. And he sort of inherited an arch nemesis because the Mist had a daughter and then, you know, the daughter assumes the Mist's mantle and then becomes his arch nemesis. Also, later a love interest, but that wasn't mentioned in the box. I learned that from DC Wikia quite a while ago. Um, as mentioned, really cool looking figure, decent looking sculpt. Only real complaint right off the top of the bat here is I'm not exactly fond of the head slash face sculpt. Just looks a little bit bland somehow. I don't know. Otherwise, um, in my case, you'll notice I had to sort of prop him up. Uh, out of box, the right leg in this was just incredibly, incredibly loose. Not something I'll complain a terrible amount for, because I did pick this up for 8 bucks, which, you know, is a tremendous deal. Uh, Sculpt-wise, it looks like a mostly new sculpt, which is sort of a novelty for the line. Um, the jacket, I don't really recall seeing on any other character, and... Although other characters have used the sort of jacketed arms, uh, this is actually a good deal different. You'll notice that the bicep is a kind of different definition, and then the shoulder, the way that it connects, you know, it's more of a sort of straight slash curved thing as opposed to more pronounced bicep like on the Superboy that was previously released in Wave 13. Also, it's unique in the fact that he doesn't have a app crunch here, which you rarely, rarely see. I mean, usually you get a certain amount of joints and stuff, and then they don't really deviate from it. So, uh, paradoxically, it's actually nice to occasionally see a figure with less articulation in some senses, especially because he wouldn't be able to use the app crunch all that much, and this does give him additional, you know, sculpt definition here. Now, um, in terms of height, me quickly pulling the good old Superman from Wave 6. You'll notice the character is a tiny bit taller. I mean, it's not too big of a difference. Now, um, given that I admittedly know virtually nothing about the character, you're probably wondering, what's his appeal? Uh, first off, you know, it's just a really cool looking design. In terms of sculpt and everything but you know the sort of bigger draw is just the fact that he really resembles the whole concept of a modern mage or magic user i mean if you're familiar with the dresden files i mean this is sort of a look that you can totally imagine harry dresden walking around in if you've ever seen the show which i didn't so much care for at first but i did eventually warm up to 
you know, really cool stuff. And, you know, it's just sort of a concept that just strikes me as being very neat. Now, in terms of detail and paint, on the jacket portion, you know, it's just mostly solid colors. We have this really cool logo on the back here, which uh, definitely has a um, sort of mystic vibe to it. But if you look closely, it almost looks like it's probably just, um, you know, the um, cons no, not constellations, the zodiac. Yeah, I think it's the zodiac. Totally blanking on the name right now for some stupid reason. Um, interestingly enough, you do have quite a bit of color here on the arms. It's like uh, shades of blue with darker colors, sort of matching the jacket. Which makes it kind of odd that we don't seem to have too much color on the jacket. I mean, I if you squint, you can probably make out little bits of blue. Chest area here, again, mostly a solid color. Pants, some detailing. Uh, this portion's like a really different shade from the rest of the legs, which I don't quite get. I mean, all around, you know, just a really decent looking figure, although not too fond of the goggles up here, which have this sort of crazy uh, glowing green color to them. And then, of course, the skin tone is kind of shiny, which I've never really been fond of. In terms of articulation, quick run through here. We have a point of rotation here at the wrists. Single joint to the elbow. Rotation of the bicep, sort of a different kind of rotation as it goes in and sort of um, will push on some areas just because it's a bit longer, so some poses might not be as feasible. Ball jointed shoulder, but for whatever reason the ball joints don't seem to work all that well for me. Can't get um, as far out as on other figures. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't really think about it that much. Head, ball joint, sort of impede in the back. We'll go down a bit in the front. Again, no ab crunch, but we do have a waist joint. Again, due to all the folding of the shirt, looks pretty natural. And then um, down here at the leg, sort of standard joint. Does not go as forward as some of the other ones do, but still works. We have a point of rotation here at the lower thigh. Single joint at the knee and a single joint here at the ankle. All around, this is a really impressive figure, and on some levels, the detail and, you know, how they handled aspects of it's probably more reminiscent of the DC Direct line than it is of the DC Universe Classics, but I guess it's just a testament to how DC Universe Classics has sort of evolved as a toy line over the years, and you know, they really are kind of branching out and doing some different things as opposed to recycling some molds, which they kind of did more of in the beginning. I mean, in particular, again, you know, just sort of really cool sculpting and parts here. Got kind of the pant legs, the torso area. And then I also really like the look of the jacket and everything. All around, a really decent looking figure. Not as fond of the face, but hey, can't win them all. Then, of course, mine has this sort of one-off defect with a hip. Not sure if it's across all of them. If you own another one and it's got it or doesn't have it, you know, just let me know. Kind of mildly curious. And then, of course, the staff can be held multiple ways. And the um, plastic's a bit softer in the hands to allow the grip. Only kind of downsides the fact that with a lot of these figures, you really can't get... Um, the arms sort of cross in front of them, so we can't pose this thing sort of straightforward as an attack, but, you know, whatever. Spinny, look at the modern Starman, who I mistakenly called Ted Knight originally. It's actually Jack Knight. Whoops. But yeah, um, until next time, folks. Also, I'm getting pretty close to playing Validus. I still just need the Sinestro Batman and I believe the... Great um, gem. Actually picked up OMAC on sale from Amazon for I think it's like seven bucks, so that's even cheaper than this. But yeah, until next time folks.